there. I'm really excited today because as you can see, I'm wearing my party dress because I'm ready for a birthday party. And that's why today we're reading A Birthday for Bear. It's written by Bonnie Becker and illustrated by Katie McDonald Denton. Are you ready? All right then, get into your nook because I've got a super fabulous book. And let's start a Ramilo read. Shall we begin? A Birthday for Bear by Bonnie Becker. Bear didn't like birthdays. He didn't like birthday parties or balloons. He didn't like birthday cards or songs or candles. In fact, Bear was quite sure he didn't like anything to do with birthdays at all. Swish, swish, swish. Bear dusted his shelves. Whisk, whisk, whisk. Bear swept his floor. He was very, very busy today. Bear was always very, very busy on his birthday. He opened the door to shake out his broom and there was Mouse. Small and grey and bright-eyed. Happy birthday, Bear, cried Mouse. It's not my birthday. Lied Bear. But it says so right here, said Mouse, waving a party invitation. Let me see that, demanded Bear. He peered at the card. It read, Dear Mouse, come to Bear's birthday party at Bear's house today. Balloons and presents and birthday cake. This is your handwriting, protested Bear. You wrote it. Did I? asked Mouse most innocently. Yes, said Bear. He sounded quite certain. Mouse hung his head. Shameful trickery, he confessed. Terribly sorry. But perhaps we could just have one little birthday party? I do not like parties. I do not like birthdays. And I especially... Do not like parties for me at my house, Bear announced. And he swept Mouse out of the door. Slop, slop, slop. Bear mopped the hallway. He heard a tap, tap, tapping on his back door. He opened the door and there stood a tiny delivery man holding three red balloons. Happy birthday balloons for a Mr. Bear, announced the delivery man. Bear narrowed his eyes. You're not a delivery man, you're a mouse. I can see your tail, declared Bear, pointing an accusing claw. Mouse hung his head. Deepest apologies, he said. But surely you'd like just one balloon? It bats about quite nicely. I do not like balloons. I do not like parties. I do not like birthdays, said Bear. And he shut the door with a firm bang. Oh dear, he's very grumpy. Slush, slush, slush. Bear scrubbed the counters and washed the dishes. He heard a rap, rap, rapping on his kitchen window. Bear opened his window. There stood a little postman holding a bright red envelope. A birthday greeting for Bear, said the postman, reading the envelope. Bear crossed his arms. You're not the postman, you're Mouse, cried Bear. I can see your ears. Appalling behaviour, Mouse started to say, but Bear slammed the window shut. Squidgety, squidgety, squidgety. Bear polished his living room clock. What a very busy, busy day he was having. Bear pricked up his ears. There was a scritch, scritch, scratching coming from the fireplace. Onto the hearth bounced a tiny Santa Claus. Ho, 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 cried the little Santa Claus. A Christmas present for Bear. Christmas already, thought Bear. 
he reached for the present and then snatched back his paw. Wait a minute, growled Bear. It's not Christmas, it's my birthday. You said it wasn't your birthday. The little Santa Claus looked very pleased with himself. Bear glared. You're not Santa, he shouted. You are Mouse. I can see your whiskers. Ah, oh, you're too clever for me, Bear, Mouse admitted. But still, you must like presents. Everyone likes presents. Bear pulled himself up to full height and roared, I do not like presents. I do not like birthday cards. I do not like balloons. I do not like parties. And I do not like birthdays. And look, you've scattered ashes all over my nice clean hearth. Bear trembled with anger. I'm very, very, very busy today. It's quite a lovely present, Mouse said, and he sadly dragged it away. Isn't Bear being terrible? Bear wiped the ashes from the hearth. The hearth was shiny and clean. No mouse prints. Good. Bear swept the ashes on the floor and whisked them out of the back door. Mouse and the messy present were gone. Hoorah! Squeak, squeak, squeak! Bear scrubbed his windows. No mouse in sight. Yes! Bear's paw slowed to a stop. Bear stared out of the window. No one had ever given Bear a present before. Bess swallowed. He'd noticed that it was an especially big present too. He wondered what sort of especially big present it might be. Ding dong, went the doorbell. Bear opened the door. There on the stoop was a pink box. You don't fool me, mouse. I know you're in there, Bear cried, springing open the lid of the box. But inside was just a cake. A big cake with chocolate sprinkles and chocolate ice cream and the, and the words Happy Birthday Bear written in chocolate icing. I do not like birthday cake either, Bear announced loudly so that Mouse could hear. Bear glared into the bushes. He looked behind the door and he peeked under the box. No postman, no deliveryman, no Santa, no mouse. They picked up the, the box and hurried to the kitchen. He glanced around, then lifted out the cake. He swiped a paw full of creamy icing and was just about to plop it in his mouth when out of the cake popped Mouse, small and grey and bright eyed. Ah ha! cried Mouse, you do like birthday cake. Bear looked down at the chocolate cake with chocolate icing and chocolate sprinkles. I made it myself, added Mouse, with an eager flick of his tail. No one had made Bear a birthday cake before. Even so, Bear started to say, I'm very, very busy today, but then he didn't. Chocolate is my favourite, Bear admitted. Mouse flicked his tail and whisked out of the door. Oh, wait, cried Bear. Quick as a whisker, Mouse was back. He tied three red balloons to Bear's chair, plunked a sparkly birthday hat on Bear's head and set an especially big present on Bear's lap. Bear lifted the lid of the present. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. He parted the crisp white paper. In the box nestled a pair of shiny red roller skates, just the right size for a bear. Happy birthday, cried Mouse. Thank you, Mouse, 
said Bear gruffly. I have always wanted a pair of shiny red roller skates. Bear cleared his throat. <clears throat> Perhaps I don't mind birthdays after all. Then Bear cut a big slice of cake for himself and an especially big slice for Mouse. And Bear and Mouse ate the whole cake, every sprinkle, every crumb. The end. Wow, wasn't that such a fabulous birthday story? I loved it and I hope you did too. Now I have got a birthday to get to, Bear's birthday. You can see his present right here. But I will see you the same time next week. I hope that today you had a really Ramaylo read with me and I'll see you soon. Bye!